Yo, so we're doing a $1,000 studio giveaway right now, but according to my records, not all of you entered the giveaway. What's up with that? We're literally giving $1,000 worth of music production tools, serum. We will buy you serum if you don't already own it, um, serum packs, all that good stuff. Enter down below while you still can. This is a very limited time giveaway, so enter for a chance to win. Be one of many winners down below in the description, but without further ado, Today, we're going to be making the Excision and Space Laces main bass, the track Rumble. And this is what it sounds like. Hey, what's going on, Rocky Parrot Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. Now, let's just go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial here. Um, so first things first, Oscillator A. We're going to be keeping it nice and vocal um, to start off with because in the original track, it sounds vocal. Sounds like uh, we're we're just doing what it sounds like, right? So into the spectral selection of our wavetables, we're gonna go ahead and find Grimace. And as you can hear, it's vocal sounding, exactly what we want. So that little rotation right there on the wave tilt position is exactly what we want to modulate. So go ahead and take our elephone number uno and modulate that bad boy right now. And that is going to be the shape of our entire sound. Now, before we go ahead and do anything further, we want to shape this since it's gonna be literally shaping everything we're doing moving forward. Go ahead and just shape a little bit something just like this. This is exactly what I did in the original track, or not the original track, yeah, I made the song, no. Um, what I did in the original patch, I meant to say, and it sounds pretty damn close, so just kind of replicate that. Put on one half, I mean, and put it on trigger. And it sounds like ass, but steak with me. We're gonna be making it sound good. Now put on bend plus, because here's the thing. That formant sounds like it's a little bit too high. All right, now if we go ahead and put on bend. See how much lower and deeper, what? Deeper the the sound sounds like. It sounds like it's really a mouthy sound. Um, so we can go ahead and modulate this backwards. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn up our unison to 11 that way, or actually no, we could ride with nine. Um, that way, because I don't want you to kill your CPU, the whole reason we're doing this is now we have nine copies of the wavetable all playing at a single time, all at different, they're all starting at different spots in the wavetable. And basically that creates like a really detuned sound the more we have the detune turned up, which is exactly what they're doing to absolutely kill that bass drop. All right, sounds pretty damn good. Now the noise we can uh, we can have a little fun with. We can just turn on the pitch and all right, we can just leave it just like that. But that is not the shape of the, the song altogether. So go ahead and take our LFO number two now and we're gonna be shaping the volume of both the noise oscillator and oscillator A. Go ahead and put this onto the levels. Okay, but for the noise, we just want it going up just a tad bit. Now for the shape here, this is literally just the shape of the original track. I tried to do something that looked exactly and sounded exactly like the original sound, so this is exactly what I did here. Okay, and we have it on for both oscillator A and the noise oscillator, which is great. Okay, now we're gonna move into the filter. The filter is literally just gonna be a high pass. So go ahead and grab our high pass 12 because that's my favorite high pass filter. It sounds great for stuff like this. And now we're just gonna go ahead and modulate using LFO number one, not LFO number two, LFO number one. And we're gonna put this on the cutoff and modulate this up because cutoff on, or modulating the cutoff on a high pass filter will make it sound a lot more vocal and like it's speaking. So turn up the resonance to give it a little bit harder of a presence. Also, if you guys are wondering why I'm, I can't really speak that well today, I have allergies. The freaking pollen is driving me crazy. Okay, um, I, I'm sorry. I did not mean to say high pass. It's a high, um, it's a high, it's a high peak filter. So this is a combination of both a high pass and a peak filter. And this is in the multis in the filters. All right, my bad. And we're just gonna modulate the frequency up on here. Perfect. All right, so that's gonna take us straight into the effects section, guys. Um, first effect on the list is literally just gonna be distortion. So go ahead and turn that on, and now we're just gonna distort this bad boy as much as we can. Okay, on to the phaser now. The phaser's gonna go all the way down on the rate and the depth, 
as well as the frequency. And the whole idea here is we want to be creating a sound that sounds very similar to a guitar amp. Doesn't it sound like it's processing through a guitar amp? So that's a pretty cool trick. Go ahead and turn on the um, the feedback though because a little bit too much feedback is gonna leave a little bit of gross residue when we turn on like an extra OTT or something. So now what we wanna do is modulate the frequency using this, uh, this uh, LFO. So as you guys can see, this LFO number two is controlling the overall amp of like the shape of the sound and LFO number one is just kind of shaping the mouthiness of it. So, <laughs> 20 sounds about good and that's going to leave us into the EQ. All right, turn on the EQ. I know we're modulating a lot, but guys, I hope that you can see how you can start to really make some really, really cool sounds just by kind of repl replicating this modulation process. Um, so go ahead and turn on the frequency. So basically we just created a, a low pass filter. So we're cutting out all the high frequencies and now we're just going to drop our LFO number one onto the frequency. Okay, there we go, there we go. And we could turn up the Q factor, which would be the resonance if we want to. But I'm not going to. And of course, we could turn on our compressor now, and this is going to be a multi-band, of course. And we are almost there. Now we're just gonna finish it off by turning on our filter as well as our hyper slash dimension. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna get into our hyper slash dimension later, so just don't even mind that. Now our filter, we're just gonna go into our flanges and we're gonna grab our phaser 48 positive. I personally like it around 170 hertz and then another thing we're gonna do is just boost the resonance and the drive slightly to increase that processing a little bit better. Now the hyper is just gonna go all the way down to zero on the mix, that way we don't hear it at all. And the dimension we want to increase the stereo width, so we could just put a low size and a high mix, of course. Now, if you guys wanna make the sound infinitely better, just go ahead and turn on X for Records OTT, which is a 100% free plugin um, from X for Records, which is the same company that makes Serum. And here, we just go ahead and turn it on and it instantly acts as another multi-band compressor. <laughs> And from there, you can just make any tweaks and adjustments that you feel is fit. And guys, keep in mind, this is your sound now. Like you choose what you want to do with this in your sound. So maybe you want to go ahead and choose a different wavetable. And that, my friends, is how you make the main bass from the song. So guys, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound. Make sure you join our giveaway if you haven't already. And if you made this far in the video, I love you. <laughs> Alright guys, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocky Proud Sound and I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial. <laughs>